What is going on you guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video we'll do a comparison between a fake and an authentic Gucci A sneakers. Now before we can spot out the differences, first we need to understand a bit about the Gucci A sneakers. Although the A sneakers are unisex in most designs, there are still plenty of differences between the men's and women's A sneakers apart from sizing. The first difference you can spot out is the side stitching. On the men's pair it has a rounded stitch whereas the women's version has a pointier stitch. Another spot is on the front side, all men's A sneakers have a stitched line on the front whereas the women's A sneakers don't have that stitch. The second difference can be spotted on the back heel. Gucci uses two different types of leather on the heels, snake skin or crocodile skin. Other than this classic green striped pair, which has crocodile skin, all the other Gucci pairs will most likely have snake skins, unless you get the black pair, which comes with full calf skin. For the men's, the leather on the heel is slim, thin, and has a defined curved rounded edge. The women's pair is much thicker and sits a bit more flat on the edges. The third difference will be on the embroidered designs. For example, the B on the men's version has a rounded wing, whereas the women's is more pointy. The legs also look different. On the women's pair, the B is placed in the middle, whereas the men's pair is placed a bit higher. So basically, the men's version has a male B and the women's version has a female B, hence why the small differences. Now that we got a bit of an understanding, we can start the comparison. As you can see, the box on the fake is smaller. Although the Gucci imprint logo looks about similar, the size and color is way off. Even the labels are different. The fake has Euro sizing, whereas the authentic has Gucci sizing, which is the same as UK sizing. The fake only has one dust bag, which is shorter and wider. The fabric on the fake feels rough compared to the authentic. First noticeable difference that you can always spot out on the fakes is the color of the leather on the heel. The authentic is dark green and the fake is light green. One of the easiest tells is the heel. On the fakes, they always mess it up. For some reason, they never get it right. On the real pair, the cut of the leather is more curved, whereas the fake has a mixture of both the men's and women's style, being that it sits slim like the men's pair, but sits a bit flat like the women's pair. The fake has a shorter and rounded upper heel tap, whereas the authentic rises a bit higher and has a more of a square shape. The authentic is brighter compared to the fake. The fakes are a bit more yellowed up. The other difference is the laces on the fakes are wider. Also, the authentic has a double stitching on the front side and the fake doesn't have that stitching just like the women's pair. The other difference is the rounded edge stitching. On the authentic, the stitching is a bit wider compared to the fake. Although it's not consistent, as the authentics come in different shapes and sizes, it's very hard to tell. Without a comparison, you can't really depend on the stitching apart from distinguishing if it's a men's or a women's pair. Under the insole, the Gucci web on the fake is more bold, whereas the authentic looks more faded out. On the authentic, the double G's web has lines coming out both ends of the letter G, whereas the fake ends only on one side. The inner stitching looks about the same. I mean, surprisingly, the fake is stitched everywhere the authentic is. And weirdly, for a made in Italy, it has a Brooklyn stamp on the back. Being that I purchased these directly from Gucci.com, I know they're not a fake, but having a Brooklyn stamp on the back is a bit weird. On the bottom sole, the design looks exactly identical. I couldn't spot out any differences apart from the yellow color on the fakes. The Gucci stamp logo looks better on the authentic, but you can't really tell without a comparison. The Gucci web on the fakes looks very similar to the authentic in color. I would say this is the closest perfect copy on the fake. Now when it comes to sizing, Gucci makes it more confusing than it needs to be. They recommend you to size down as their shoes run big, which does make sense because their sizing and their size chart doesn't match. Gucci sizing is the same as UK sizing. In all other Italian shoes, a size 41 and a half is eight and a half US or a seven and a half UK. Gucci has it all mixed up. For an Italian brand, a size seven and a half UK is a size eight US, not eight and a half, but still a 41 and a half in Euro sizing. Notice that the UK and Euro sizing is the same as other Italian brands, but the US conversion is where they differ. So to sum up this video, are the Gucci A sneakers worth it? I would say it depends on the buyer's needs. If you want a logo to show off, then the Aces are for you. But if you're looking for a good quality pair that will last you many years, then no. Buying a Gucci A sneakers, you should understand that you're flat out paying for just the logo. And if you have that understanding prior to purchasing and know that you're buying the logo and not the quality, you'll be satisfied.
Now, the reason why I say they're not worth it, because the leather in the build is nowhere near the price tag, the bottom soles don't have a Goodyear weld or a Blake stitch, it's glued on and not replaceable. So no matter how well you treat the leather, you can't prevent the sole from rubbing out. In fact, Gucci employees will tell you that the aces are only meant to last around two years. This pair costs about $70. It's not the best quality there is. I've heard that there are a better quality out there. Hopefully in the future, I can get my hands on it and we can do a part two. All right, guys, that wraps up this review. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up as it really helps out this channel. Other than that, I'll see you next time.